In this video, I'll be talking about bad arguments I've seen in the community. I made a video like this before, but I have better skills, I can articulate my points better, and I have more arguments. Story Surgeon signing in, let's get to work. People use it's not real to discredit criticism towards an anime. Problem 1. Saying it's not real doesn't disprove what the other person said. It's a lazy way of trying to negate what they said without putting in any work. This mentality also assumes that all criticism is irrelevant, which is stupid, but if you believe that, then just ignore the critics and let them critique and try to help stories improve. Your input is unnecessary and unhelpful. The only reason you would respond to criticism of an anime is if you actually cared about criticism, but you're pretending you don't. It's a hypocritical cycle. Popularity alchemy is the argument that popularity is equal to quality. No, it's not. Whether you think quality is subjective or objective, the fact of the matter is that popularity has nothing to do with it. A good story isn't automatically popular, and a bad story isn't automatically unpopular. There can be overlap between quality and popularity, like a Venn diagram, but they aren't the same thing. Stories can get popular through multiple people believing that the story is high quality, based on their own rubric, but it can also get popular for reasons outside of its quality, like marketability. Never use popularity to argue the quality of a story. Subjectivity alchemy is a subset of popularity alchemy. Instead of saying a show is popular, therefore it is quality, they say this opinion is popular, therefore it's true. An example would be, most people think The Dark Knight is a masterpiece, therefore The Dark Knight is a masterpiece. That's not how logic works. The only truth that comes from a popular opinion is the truth that said opinion is popular. Uniqueness alchemy is when people try to argue that because something is unique, that makes it better. I've heard this for Chainsaw Man, Blue Lock, and Jujutsu Kaisen. Being different shouldn't contribute to the quality of a story. It might be in your rubric, but that's not a very good section to grade, because that would mean that your grading is comparative. While stories are built off of each other, Story X's quality shouldn't be somewhat dependent on what Story Y did. Now, if Story X is a carbon copy of Story Y, I can criticize X for copying Y, but if Y was a good story, X should technically still be a good story too. It's foolish to say X has low quality because it copied Y. No, the creator of X has low ethics, but that doesn't make the story bad. If I make a story all about poop, that's unique, but it doesn't automatically add points to its quality. The unfinished argument is when people say you didn't finish the story. If someone watched three episodes of an anime and they give their thoughts on those three episodes, you can't logically negate their opinion by saying you only watched three episodes. If they got information wrong or used poor arguments, address those, but simply saying you didn't finish it doesn't add anything to the conversation. It doesn't prove them wrong or make their opinion less valid. Funny how I've only seen this happen when they give an opinion is negative. That's actually like most of these arguments. You like X is when someone tries to discredit an opinion by pointing out that the critic likes something that they don't like. This is stupid. Address the arguments and evidence. Pointing out that someone likes a bad anime when they're criticizing an anime that you like does nothing. Reason 1 is because that bad anime might be bad to you or the masses, but that doesn't make it objectively bad. But even if it was objectively bad, that doesn't negate any of their criticisms, which is reason 2. It's not for everyone is one of the arguments I hate the most. Like many of the others, it's a diversion that attempts to avoid addressing criticism. Assuming a critic's arguments make sense, saying that it's not made for them should have no effect on their argument. If a critic says the characters and the decisions they made were inconsistent, whether it was made for them or not doesn't affect that opinion. If a critic enjoys a story that wasn't made for them, are you going to invalidate their opinion because it wasn't made for them? No, you're not, because the people who use this only use it when a story they like is being criticized. Once again, this is a logical fallacy that subtly tries to change the subject. The subject goes from the criticism to whether the critic was in the target audience. Furthermore, how do you even know if the critic was in the target audience? Who exactly is the anime made for, and how do you know that the critic doesn't fall into that group? It's just a horrible argument full of holes. The author said so is when someone tries to justify an argument by saying that the author agrees with them. I just had a recent video where I brought this up. It doesn't matter what the author said if there's evidence against it. If in the anime, the door was red but the author said the door was blue, are you going to go with what the author said or the evidence staring you in the face? You didn't understand is when someone tries to negate your criticism by telling you that you didn't understand. This gets on my nerves as well. Telemon had a great video on this, called The Enlightened Fan. This argument, like many of the others, aims for the laziest method of counter-argument that requires no proof. In short, if I actually didn't understand something, you should be able to show me with evidence that counters my evidence. You shouldn't even need to tell me that I misunderstood it. In reality, you don't understand translates to you don't like it, because in truth, it's a circular argument. You don't like it because you don't understand it, and you don't understand it because you don't like it. The only way for you to understand it is to like it. This argument is, if you don't like it, don't watch it. It's another evasive maneuver that avoids addressing actual arguments and evidence, but I can't lie, there have been times where I see people continue watching and complaining about certain things that make me want to say this. It could be a genre or a show. To me, my question is at what point do you stop watching something that you have so many complaints for? It especially irks me when it has to do with ideologies, which leads me to my next argument. 
You're not a woman is when someone tries to invalidate an opinion because the critic isn't a woman. You're not a woman is what I'm calling it, but the last noun could be anything. For example, you're not black. I hate this so much because it exudes more ignorance than anything else on this list. I faced this a lot when I was defending female characters back in the day. People honestly tried to negate my arguments and evidence simply because I wasn't a woman. I don't like to use buzzwords, but there's a certain buzzword buzzing around in my head right now. Can you guess it? Arguing that someone needs a specific quality in order to give their opinion on something is ridiculous. Attack the evidence and the arguments, not the person. The bait argument is when someone says, this is bait, in response to an opinion. This is a specific version of the intentional fallacy, which is where you assume bad intention on the other person as an excuse not to engage with it. Another evasive maneuver. My last one is the big brother argument. This is when someone argues that someone has had more time and experience in a specific field than others, therefore their opinion is automatically more valid than others. Another evasive maneuver. This is basically appeal to authority. Just because someone has more experience doesn't automatically make their arguments logical and their evidence factual. These are the worst and most prevalent arguments I've heard from anime fans. Now when you spot someone using this on you, you can call them out with a fancy special attack name. Story Surgeon signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.